road. Nice little pony, I mean, really nice. Light, light made, you know. Um, well, got a bit of bone, I mean, it's not without, but it's, you know, light on the leg. Um, well, like a half bread, you'd call it, from a thoroughbred with a cob, maybe, you know. But a nice pony. She was here a couple of years ago, and everything was nice. And she went home, and the idea was she'd come back um, in the spring and we'd finish her off because she was one of them ponies, done everything we asked her to do really well, everything was good. Um, and the funniest thing is, she's done nothing at all for two years. Now, two years because we've had, you know, I've had the new knee and other bits and pieces done. And also we've had COVID, so that made turn it into two years. So she's come back and everything is lovely except traffic and she's got a real problem with it and that's quite strange because she was all right in traffic i can't remember how long she was here you know when she first come but she's come back and she's not happy as she was and i thought she'd be here uh, you know a couple of weeks three at the most and you know just work it out everybody that wants to come in and how long it was going to be so what i want you to you know the reason for this film is is just to show you now she's worn she's been here a, uh, a month just a bit over a month um, i'm not quite sure exactly but she's already been for a set of shoes but when she arrived she had to be shod um, and that was a couple of three days waiting for the farrier which is no problem because you want them to settle in and you know remember where they are I've been here before um, sort of thing and that was all alright putting her harness on absolute dream and it's just strange you know it, it's really strange so we took her out putting her harness on she dropped her head down straight away to have a collar put on and she'd lift her head up and shake it down her neck well you think only a youngster and two you know two years ago is the last time she done it because all she's done since is laid in the field she's done nothing at all so loads and loads of things the pressure washer no problem at all she had it before two years ago cope with it fine putting her in harness you know putting her two now she was a little bit on the big side a little bit heavy so we put her in a pair to start with, um, with one of our horses. So our horse would take the weight of the cart and she could slowly get fit, yeah? So you see when these things are overtaking her, she's fine, there's a paddle on the side of the road. Here, yeah, she's not looking at that. It's oncoming, she's not bothered. But when she sees a lorry or anything too big, she tightens up. Not so much with it coming past her. Now I know the young lady who's got the pony and um, she said, you know, it just don't make any sense because the horse has been in the field now. How can it possibly remember all of that and be perfectly happy with doing that? Pressure washer, harness going on, being put to, right? Not had a bit in for two years. We only use rubber, as you know, but so we put the bit in, she answered the bit straight away and sat up, lifted her head up and went in a pair and skipped down the road and didn't really care. We had her on the inside, no, we had her on the outside as we normally do to start with. And I was like, considering how she was with everything, where did that ever come from? The traffic problem. And it's not that we saw something terrible the first time we encountered a heavy vehicle, i.e. a truck of some description, bus or something like that. You know, if the first one we saw, I don't know, the air brakes went off and, you know, it was skidded down the road or something like that, or it had a, a load with a flapping plastic sheet, you could relate to that, but it never did. It had this little Mary lorry, and she really went over to the curb, you know, she didn't want it at all. And she was pushing the other horse over, you know, but he was a schoolmaster, so he knows the job. 
And I thought, that's funny, that's weird. And you think to yourself, whatever could have happened in that time? Now, I know the young lady that's got the horse, a nice girl, and she said to me, he's never done anything. He's just been in the field. We left her there because she thought we was only going to be home for the winter, and it turned up two years. Like it has with a lot of things with that COVID thing, and then me having a couple of operations, you know, I had a new knee and that done, and some other bits. So, just really, really weird. You know, when it, everything else, going, you know, being in a stall, tight in a stall, while it's, you know, training. So you're behind the horse, you ask it to come, come over left, come over right, come back while you feed it, them sort of things. Very good for training horses, you know, not everybody likes stalls, but you know, we have stalls and stables and you can put them in a stall and everything you do driving horses from behind, isn't it? So it's, it's nice to be able to walk around the back and do all that. Well, they learn all that in the stall and you muck them out, feed them, all that. Not a problem at all. As soon as she was back in, you know, in the stall, I said, come over, girl, first time, straight over, moved over so I could walk up with her ailage and feed her. You know, lovely. So how the this has ended up like this, I just don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Um, if, if, you know, we'd have had anything at all that frightened her. Now, the other thing is, which does take some believing, this is crazy. We've got a dumper, you know, like you'd have on a building site. And we take it into the stables and we use it for taking the muck away. Well, you take the, that in there, she's taking the nose of it. Didn't take any notice of it, and it's a diesel one cylinder thing, that makes it, and it's old, and it makes a bit of a clonk, bump, 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 clonk, clonk, you know, nothing at all. The bucket on it goes up and down, you know, and obviously it tips. So we bring the haylage across from the, you know, the aided shore across the road, we bring it out on the, on the dumper. No trouble at all, absolutely no trouble at all. Well, you'd think that that would relate. Like right, it's got her ears pricked forward here, right? Now I, I know why that is because that's on top of that car, so to her it looks a bit strange. But before she wouldn't have taken any notice of that. I mean, she was virtually done, really. Um, and I can't remember the actual reason, you know, now. But um, well, I think it was like, you know, she's got plenty in her head. Winter was coming on, you know, not going to have the time to drive it. Most people, you know, struggle in the winter to drive their horses. So I thought, well, we'd have her back in the spring and, you know, no problem at all. Come round, darling. Everything would be good. Well, so, you know, she stand at junctions like that. She's up together. She's looking round. Come back, baby. Come on. Come over, that's it, walk on. And we're going back now on this main road. We haven't seen anything yet, which is quite good. Well, I'm trying to explain to you um, because you don't get drowned out by the noise of heavy trucks. But we're gonna go up here now and the law of averages said we're gonna get one or two and just see a reaction. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's improved massively over the time, but she was definitely disturbed and frightened and uptight with every traffic, so just don't make any sense. Come on, walk on. Um, so we're just going to walk up here so we can catch as much traffic as we can. But I don't know why today you get days like that when you don't see any traffic at all. So as soon as we get a bit of traffic, we start feeling, oh, here's a van coming. This will be a good one. So I sided van, got some bits on the top. You know, so what I'm going to do is call him on, the fella, and just let the rain slack and let her do her thing, right? Steady. So she wants to speed up then, but that's nothing. She want to do it anyway. The reason she'd want to do it, she can see this rise in front of her. So if you let her go, you know, she'd think to herself, I better trot up here, you know what I mean? To get to get drawn up you go there. come over that's it fairly well so I'm just holding her back from trotting up I mean she can trot up here I'm not bothered about that but we want to get like this is lovely because the road is hidden on this bend 
so I'd sooner keep her at the walk there. Come up, baby. Um, sooner keep her at the walk. So if something comes round there, it's a surprise, you know, or she'll hear it. Of course she will. Hearing's better than ours, but she'll, you know. But you get you get days like this. This this road is, I think they refer to it as a as a rat run, a cut through, you know. So this will go into Andover. It'll go to Stockbridge, but it'll go down to Romsey. And it'll even go, like, goes well on the way to Southampton. So, you'd think to yourself, there'd be plenty of traffic on the road today, wouldn't you? So this car's overtaking us, or what? I ain't worried about that. I'm gonna come in there, and that's it. That's good. But you could quite easily, easily as anything, find that there'd be an arctic on this road. The other one, there'd be lots of liquid waste, you know, from septic tanks, etc., stuff like that. That one there was beautiful. Can you hear the man went right over and ran along the edge of the road to give me as much room as possible? In doing so, his tyres made a lot of noise. It probably won't come out on the film, but you can definitely hear it. You know, when you're out here and you're not going through, you know, if he's actually sitting by the side of me, it's quite surprising what you hear that you never hear when you're in a motor car. So, you know, you say, well, she's on a, well, she, she's no trouble at all. But when she sees something big, she can be soppy. Obviously, she's getting better, but she's been here five, gonna be five, six weeks. Uh, you know, when, like double the time I thought she would. And yes, she's better, but I wouldn't say she was 100% yet. So, and all she's got is a soft bit of rubber in her mouth, got a lovely head carriage on her. She'll walk along here as though she was strolling up the side of a field, do you know what I mean? No trouble at all. But it's just when you see a little bit of something a bit bigger. Also, this is a perfect day. Another way is, because we've had no traffic whatsoever, when we see a long uh, truck, it'll be good, won't it? I, I, you know, I mean, you probably think I'm... But that's their job. So, if we come out and we had 20 lorries one after the other... So, here, right now, for instance, right? That's a noisy thing, yeah? Little noisy thing, that four-wheel drive had a, like a blowy exhaust on it, you know? But, you know, not terrible. It's only got a rubber bit in. She's got a big iron bit with a curb chain and break this bloody jaw to stop it. I just, you know, to steady it up and just squeeze the reins a bit and just tell her steady and that's it. So, when you get days like this, it's a good one. Because there's no traffic and hopefully in a minute we'll see something worth, worth seeing. And she might just walk straight past it now but she might be up tight. And if they're hidden by the bends in the road, that's a good thing for us. I know people think, well, you're crazy. It's not a case of being crazy. These horses have got to go home and be safe, confident, and happy doing what they're asked to do. And that's our job, is to make them that way. But, you know, horses are a very good leveller. When you think, and like I say, when I'm talking about training a horse, um, so we've got one coming up behind now. So we'll have this come by. So you can see she's a little bit up tight, but a big old truck. Yeah. But not really doing anything terrible. And she's and her recovery rate is fantastic. She's back walking again like that. And all I've done is covered the brake, you know, on, on the vehicle. Um, just covered it. So that was a, that's the type of thing I mean. So that's out of the blue. Now we might not see that particular truck. The other thing with that that truck is really weird, and it took me quite a while to to realise. I mean, I'm talking about a good few years ago now, but it picks up horse manure, but it picks it up from people that bed just on straw. And they've got that and a drag trailer behind, so they're quite a big unit when it's, you know, 
and they go around and clear it away from certain stables that just have that don't have wood chips they're all on straw so they're normally types of things like racing yards show jumping yards that choose just to bread on straw and um and they go around and clear it away well obviously when it comes past they can smell loads of horses kind of <laughs> you know because you know it's uh, that's what he's carrying even when they're empty i mean you can smell them yourself so certainly the horses can smell them and they, you know, they, I don't know, you'd love to have their sense of smell just to know what they do smell and what their brain tells them. They think, well, he's just gone 30 horses have just gone past me. <laughs> or what, I don't know. You see, like that, not bothered by is it. One coming past, most things coming past, not bothered. It's oncoming that, you know, to find a little bit um, of a problem. And you can say to me, a lot of people say, oh, you've got nerves of steel and all that nonsense and it is nonsense what it is it's all i've done all my life is horses so i know the horses um you don't always get it right of course you don't no one gets you know whatever they do 100 percent right all the time but um oh my darling baby my little sugar plum ain't you oh my little sugar you young rascal what are you doing i like that when they come back when i talk to them see what are you doing? That's nice. Communication, do you know what I mean? I mean, I can be talking away the rest of the time and there is prick tools, don't bother, you know what I mean? Just picking up information around and not really taking much notice of what I'm saying at all. But if I talk to her, what are you doing, you young rascal? Come on in, babe. Trot, babe. And like this now, you know, you want to stop her? Walk. Stop and she'll stand as quiet as a lamb. Walk. And she'll walk away. You know, all the things you want in a driving horse, she's there. Just this shoppy thing with traffic. And you'd wonder where it come from. And it's fascinating. It's a nuisance for the people that own the pony because they're thinking, you know, it's going to be there a couple of three weeks. And all of a sudden that's turned into, a, you know, a, well, we double that, you know. So I, I just can't. And it's, it's not like uh, she's not done the miles. I mean, obviously, anyone that drives all should know. She's got driving plates on. And she's um, she's worn them out in just under a month, if you do it by day by day, just under a month. So she's been here like five weeks now, roughly, five and a bit weeks. Uh, she was here a couple of three days waiting before she got a shot. I mean, that didn't stop us getting on with her training and getting her back into the... the, the things because you still try her harness on etc and do all that stand her in a cart make sure she's ready then the farrier come and then he come about a week ago and shot her so it was just under just under a month i think that the shoes lasted well obviously to wear them out in a month um you've got to be doing the miles so it's not that she ain't done the miles and obviously we take film to show you what miles she's done so she's been down to andover she's been in the town we put her in a pair, um, and a, a, a fella that's had a good few all she's broken with said, do I think that made any difference? Well, she was uptight in the pair with traffic. Everything else marvellous. And also, the all she was with, or the couple of horses that she's been with, one a schoolmaster and another one just finishing its training, absolutely works beautifully what you know together because a pair of horses if you do them right should work as one horse i feel like you're just driving one you know they're in stride together they're all, they've got the weight of the vehicle the whole time correct and like that so come on baby you little rascal what are you doing my little girl but you know, it's, a, it's just an interesting thing, isn't it? It's, I'm very frustrating because I can't find out what's caused it. And the, and, and the girl, you know, that, that owns you, all, nice young lady, she would like, she would tell you the truth. She'd say, you know, the horse has been in the, she said the horse has been in the field, or basically been out of grass or stable or like that for the last two years. That's what it's done, you know. Um, and also the other thing is, they've all got to go home safe, confident and happy. 
and whatever time that takes is what it takes. But it wasn't what I expected. All the other behaviour is exactly where we left it. That's, that's the interesting thing. So all the other behaviour is exactly lovely. You know, the way you handle them and the way they just fall in with the old routine of what we're looking for, etc. So I don't really know. So we're going to turn off now for a minute, the camera, and as soon as we see something worth, we'll film it. So as you can see with the white van, pretty good. With the other one, with the trailer behind, again, pretty good. Um, but our should be with a high-sided vehicle. We haven't seen anything yet. No high-sided vehicle whatsoever. But like this one, fine. So most people would say, well, that's lovely. And I would agree that no one should go out on their own with um, you know with a, with a horse on the public highway you know it's good to have another pair of vans but you've got to have another pair of vans that are reliable what do I mean by that well you know I'm not being rude in any way please but you want someone that in you know in an emergency or if you've got a problem that can jump off and help you so you know going out with your grandma might not be the best idea as far as relying on them for help, isn't it? According to our fit they are. But that type of thing, or a child, you know, same sort of thing. Or even if you want to split hairs, the, 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 you know, the way a person is in, in their, you know, the way they are. I don't know if sort of a panicking sort of person or not. But they're used to horses, all them sort of things. So it's very hard for people to get someone who's... Um, Oosh. you know what you require for a good person on the back so, so that motor car there which is, that's very interesting that motor car then come past us very slow was behind us for a, you know a fair while um, waiting for the traffic to come when it come past us very slow uh, not a noisy engine i wouldn't say but she she was saying are you coming past or not and if you look at her ears, what she was saying to me, Dad, do you know that's there? What is that behind us? Is it all right? You know, that's what she was asking. So this is really strange. We've come all the way back. We're now going to turn off of this road. So we'll be doing the same thing tomorrow. So we'll finish the film off tomorrow when we find some big trucks. So there we are, we, <laughs> we're about a couple of hundred yards from home, you look up there you see the Union Jacks flying in the field on the training ground, and that's the first lorry we've seen. And she weren't terrible, you know, she wasn't terrible. Um, I mean, obviously she went over into the edge a bit, um, but just asked her through. But that's the only one she's seen, so she's entitled to be. I mean, we'd have seen 20, 30 lorries today, which is quite possible on the route we've been. By the end of it, she'd been fine. So the way she tackled the last lorry weren't terrible to me. You know, I would think, well, that's not too bad, girl. Well done, you know, that's how I would be thinking. So there you go. So, you know, I think that's a, that second one we've seen and a, and a nice improvement, you know. I'm not talking to her, am I kidding her past that second one? She's just done it on her own. Um, she turned her head away to the wash. I just picked her head back there and I held it there so she could see the lorry a little bit. And she was all right. So there you go. But quite unbelievable, the top. <laughs> <laughs> the distance we've been see nothing then see one few hundred yards from home anyway well there you go we'll, we'll do it again and we'll look for some big traffic and we'll you know show you that okay
There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe, confident horse And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe, confident horse That's had